Hi, this is Vincent Scully from Cart Integrator, and in this training video, we're going to look at sales and returns. So, an inevitable aspect of running an online business is that sometimes an order may go wrong, a customer may change their mind, and a return will be initiated. So, in this video, I'm going to show you the return process and how this particular screen within your admin area works. So I'm going to drop into a customer account and this is a test account that I've set up and I'm going to go in as a customer and look at my order history. So I can see here I've ordered a number of different products. So I'm going to click on the view button and I can see my order. Now opposite my order details I have the option for reorder and return. So I'm going to say that I no longer want my iMac and I'm going to return that item to the store. So now we're brought to the return screen. So we can see it pre-populates with the order information and my details, as well as the product information. Now, we have a number of different reasons that we can tick to say uh, what actually happened. So let's say it was re received the wrong item. And we can ask, is the product opened or is it in its unopened state? And I can say, uh, that we got the wrong item received and I can press submit. So now a return has been initiated and a notification has been sent to the admin of your store. And now when we go back into our returns we can just refresh the screen and what we're going to see is that return is now listed. And you can see the status is awaiting products. Now, a very important thing to note here is that as a business owner, you need to define the terms and conditions upon which your business operates. And one of those terms and conditions can be how you receive return products. Some companies will pay for the shipping of the product back to them. Other companies will expect that the customer pays for the shipping back to um the owner of the business and that's really up to you to define that but but when we look here and we click on edit we can see the information so this is pretty much the same information that we have um, seen on the customer screen and now we have an option for the admin so what is the return action are we going to issue a credit are we going to refund it or are we going to send a replacement so you need to decide that uh, within your business, what are you going to do? Now, here we have the history. Now, history is very similar to um, our order history. We're going to have the option of changing these return statuses to pending, complete, and at the moment we're at awaiting products. So if we want to notify the customer and say, okay, what you need to do is send the item back to us at this address, you could type that in and click add history and select the notify option and that's going to send that information directly back to the customer. If you wanted to allow them to send it back on your tracking account with a particular carrier, you may provide that information here. So this allows you to track the returns that are coming in um, within your store and it is inevitable every now and again there will be something that will happen that will allow uh, a customer or you need to facilitate a customer returning a product to you um, for whatever reason that may be. And after all, we're in a customer service industry and we've got to take care of our customers. Okay, that's the end of this short training video. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video.